Let's see. Universal Paramount Studios, Epcot, Disney World, oh, a yeah. half of like a dozen amusement parks, all the illegal immigrants from Cuba, the Haitians, all yeah. the fucking international yeah. traffic, ground zero of a plague right there. Yeah, they just plagued it. And this shit's going to spread like fire. And it happened. And what did they say? What, what, what it was they the, say? The, 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 the male the mosquitoes that, that uh, have a genetic fault that causes them to die before they each three stage of maturity. So if that particular bacterial fault is transferable through bite to humans, their children will start dying off when they're sexually mature. Our male are children are. kids? Yes. Our male kids, children will die off at sexual maturity. No way. They are killing off strands. No, uh... And that's what they're trying to do. They just I don't know if that's what they're trying to do, but that's what that will do in mosquitoes and if it yeah. jumps genomes. That's just what they release. Well, huh? that would make sense, especially like the number one like I don't know if it's related or not, but like what I was just saying about the Georgia thing. The number one thing on that is cut the population to five hundred thousand. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Everything that's going on is the Georgia guidestones. Guide right, right off. Guide the number one thing says yeah, cut the population. As to why the population why it was encouraged by the devil to get this far? Because the devil Lucifer himself has he's got technology that he has created apart from God at this point in, in here. God knows about it. He knows what it does. That's why Saturn, when you point in a spilloscope at it, sounds like fucking chains. It's because the north end of Saturn is his prison, in my opinion. Uh, uh, Saturn, Satan. Saturn L. Yeah, I think it's all right in there. If anybody was to really pay attention, it's all right in there. My doctor asked me if I ever had a stress test. I said, yes. I replied, it's called life. Every day. You ask yes, yes, yes. Life. <laughs> I woke up today. Every day on the day today. <laughs> yeah. I had a heartbeat when I woke up this morning. Sometimes all you so need is a really good. They're also comparing the Statue dollars. of Liberty to Helios, <laughs> the god of sun. Well, see, here's the thing about that. Unless he were, Helios is also a map or did it, Helios is already compared to Lucifer, two different entities. And see, that's so where they're saying that the Statue of Liberty is actually a dude. Block. Yeah. Because of the big block jaw and... Well, if you look at the most of the goddesses that, that thing's modeled after, most of them are sluts and him after did it. Don't yeah. fuck it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, look what they turned freaking American women into in the freaking that girl I've been past thirty years. years. You well, know what all I mean? this shit, I, dude. She's on our wavelength. Oh, wow, that's that'd be a trip, bro. I could, I wouldn't know what to do. I don't. I, I honestly, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't know what, know what to do. Really, wow. dude, dude, the second night we were hanging out, so the first night we spent five and a half hours just mobbing. We, 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 I walked, our first date, we met at the library and walked around downtown. Did she point at the camp trails or what? Uh, I had to point those out to her. Uh, I mean, she knows about them because yeah, she yeah. wasn't looking up until I said, you know, they're pentagramming our sky with those things uh, for a giant ritual. And she went, fuck, now i got to look up. Because uh, so, she knew that they were lithium and all that stuff's in them. She knew yeah. what they're doing, but she was trying to focus on just trying to get to your day to day, right? That, that's what I was doing. I had a two plus two moment. I'm sorry, bro, but I had a two plus two moment. Four. Those pentagrams in the sky, right? Yeah, two. Could it be a ritual to bring like the draconic like dragon demons down that could burn the last final phase of Earth? No, Lucifer doesn't want this place burnt. He wants to rule this place in order to save the last of our flesh and take his sons and daughters home. This place is going to burn at the will of God, not at the will of Lucifer, and not at the will of these men. Yeah. Nuclear can, bomb going he gets it for seven down. years, dude. That's, he gets it for seven gets years. It? You do know that the scribes and the Pharisees infiltrated the Leviticus pre, uh, priesthood in Babylon when it was outlawed. So the Bible and all the Old Testament stuff had been altered from Babylon enslavement forward. So how long do you think Lucifer's really ruled this place? And to top it off, seven days to a deity is a one day is a thousand years to God. How do you know the devil doesn't have that same thing? Which means since the flood, he's ruled for 7,000 years or seven days. So that's, uh, you're 
taking it to Whoa, you just blew my mind. You're on a whole you're on a whole other level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think about anything like Once that. Once wow. mind's been blown, you cannot yeah. unblow. Well, okay, so the last yeah. cataclysm before that was the freezing of the planet to get rid of Moo and Atlantis. To unthaw it, to destroy that world, he had to wreck it, to heat us back up. So you destroy the place, it's formless void now, uh, like in the Bible. And over the next 6,000 years, he uses his will and his math to shape and cool and make this environment perfect for the genome pool that's going to become his final test for his sons and his daughters, which is now. This is the third of three cycles. Like there are three tiers of heaven and the topmost tier has three tiers. There, as above, so below. They don't tell you about that math that fucking some people have shared with me and then I've fucking done my own. When I asked questions of the Mormon leaders and they went, and I got no responses back from the people they asked and I kept asking and they just greeted with silence or don't worry about it, acceptance. I was like, wait, your first lesson was to teach me to ask. Yeah. And now you're telling me not to ask? Yeah, no, yeah. The problem isn't in the word. The problem's in your heart. Supposedly, he's supposed to reign for seven years. Yeah. Uh, I imagine it's only seven years on this earth because it'd be fucking pretty, pretty creepy any what, otherwise. What's happened in civilizations over the last 7,000 years, and equate that to a thousand years to a day. Look at the Black Plague. Look mm -hmm. at the fucking Spanish Inquisition. So look at the is, slavery of the Babylonians. I uh, yeah, for the Jews. Look, look at look at what's occurred to the slaves in Africa before we got a hold of them. Look, look what's occurred with the pre-Catholic Church and the witch trials. You don't think the devil hasn't run this place for seven thousand years? Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is what, what I don't care about him being captive someplace else. You know what I mean? It only he's, makes, it only makes it, sense. It because he's an archangel. His physical yeah, form is yeah. with him. It can't be stopped. So it's only his physical form that's been imprisoned, Matt. His spirit is not. The, the spirit, the spirits, oh, I, 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 the I, physical I, forms no, are entrapped, not, not their, their, not yeah. their fucking spirits. Ah, I got you. Oh, that makes sense. It's just wild. The yeah. Archangel Uriel's was showing the prophet Enoch's creation. And then part of the process, he talks about black holes being in the imprisonment places for some of the greater angels that rebelled. He didn't talk about the pattern at all. But then he brought Enoch to this place that, in all honesty, meets the description of the South Pole. Including the seven mountains at which seven archangels have been imprisoned. Seven of the watchers, have their bodies have been imprisoned in Antarctica, or whatever. In Antarctica yeah, yeah. since the first cataclysm, the freeze. <laughs> wow, did they take oh, that out so of the Bible? Or what? I, I was off space and like, <laughs> trying to look at me like, like expecting yeah, something. Yeah, the freeze. I can also figure out the responses. Because not only flooded, they were frozen. Before that, about wow. a, at about 11 to 12,000 BC, this place was frozen. And then about 12,000 be off nuked because in the seven the, days. What were the people doing? Just it, was at, it, was, it was Atlantis yeah. and Moo. What was that? The Atlanteans built all the pyramids and the fucking monoliths and shit. Turned that Earth into a weapon yeah, and nuked the planet between Mars yeah. and Jupiter. Uh, it's covered uh, yeah. in Sumerian myth. Sumerian myth? Mars and Whoa. Wow. The fucking like gods that. Marduk and Tiamat collided between there. That was their first estate. They just... God destroyed one of their first estates, and I believe Mars was a leftover, and that's why it died. Because it's been dead for about 7,000 years as well. Which means Mars has been dead as long as the angels had left their first estate. Get your ass in here now. Mars! 